Okay, I got a little post commentary going on here. I played a match against Black Snacks. He's a Tekken God Supreme Kuma player. He's playing Asuka here. Uh, he's currently the number 27 ranked Kuma on the leaderboards. And uh, a couple notes about this match. I've played him a few times. I think I played his Lily and his Bear. And I think he's beat me every time that we've played. He's uh, really good. So going into this matchup, I know that he knows the matchup. So that's something like I already have in mind that he is going to know the punishes and he's going to block like up back one plus two and other seeable stuff. So he knows what's going on. Um, but I wanted to like take note, like because he knows the matchup, it makes it very difficult for me to play against him. And I want to highlight some of the stuff that he does really well. So when we watch the match, I want you to keep an eye out for um, like how he uses power crush to keep me out. Uh, he does a really good job with like, using armor to stop my approach i try to do a lot of four four one plus two and he stuffs me out with like power crush and uh heat burst and rage art uh he also does a really good job of keeping me out of stances when you're fighting against kuma uh and panda you really don't want to let them to stay in stance because you're just going to get mixed they have like really powerful stance tools so you want to get them out of stance as quick as possible and we'll talk about that when he does it um and he does a really good job of like identifying what i'm doing and uh, like the way I like to think about it is like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Like I'm not adapting very well in this matchup. And so he doesn't change what he's doing. He just keeps doing the same things that keep working. And it was on me to change. Uh, so it's like my fault. I didn't do better because I didn't adapt fast enough in the matchup. Uh, and then just a couple notes about like me personally, I'm not very good against the Asuka matchup. Um, I don't punish a lot of stuff. I don't duck a lot of the highs and the strings. Uh, I don't block a lot of the seeable lows. And uh, I'm really afraid of Can Can. Can Can fricks up Bear really bad. So uh, I'm always like afraid he's going to Can Can me. And I'm really afraid of Parry. Uh, Black Snacks doesn't really use Parry very much. But uh, I'm afraid of it. And it kind of shows in my gameplay because I'm playing a lot more hesitant. So let's get into the match. Uh, this is game one. And uh, see what's going on here. So right off the bat, I'm trying to establish the lows using Hell Sweep. Testing what he does uh, in Bear Stance. You can see he dick jabbed me out of Bear Stance and I never do anything about that. All right, I'm using a lot of Power Crush in this match. You know, one of his best moves. He knocks me out of the air. I, I barely get any 4, 4, 1 plus 2s through in this game. And then I'm super plus after the heat dash and he uses rage art like really good use of it because I'm probably gonna press a button right, And I got four forward one plus two through there to get the slide But you know most of the time I'm doing that he's hitting me out of the air because it's 36 frames reactable No punish on his back three I'm bad. He doesn't block the up back one plus two um, Which I'm kind of surprised about Goofy reset combo here. I don't know what I'm doing and then I just did the slide and I did roll one. So the third time I did the mid, because I know that he's expecting me to go low or high. He pops heat right off the bat. I'm, I'm bad, I get hit by the down forward one two. I keep doing uh, back forward two, back one. Uh, I was really trying to force that in this game and games like I played before and after this, uh, this match. Um, it can work. And I want to pause here. Um, so I know he knows the matchup, right? I'm going to back up a little bit. And I know he's going to duck back to one. Uh, I want to like use back to one as a mix up when I'm in heat, but I know he'll duck it and punish me. So I do two, two here, right? And he punishes me. Um, 2-2 two, two, and back 2-2-1 two, two, are one of those, you know, it's one of those strings where it's not very good. You know, every hit of the string is unsafe. Um, but it's mid, 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 and people that know the matchup are not expecting you to do this. It's a very rarely seen move. So I like to bust it out sometimes just to, like, mess with people. I'm pretty sure in the Sour Piggy matchup that I played not too long ago, I ripped the whole string. I did the whole back 2-2-1 two, two, just because... I figured he wouldn't punish it. I'm pretty sure he didn't because people aren't ready for it. It's kind of like down 4-3-2. Like, it's not a very good string, but people aren't ready for it. So just more to add to your mental stack. Like, don't forget this move exists. 
um because most of the time people don't punish it you know if they punish it the first time like all right cool don't don't do it again but you know against people that i know i know that they know the matchup i like to bust it out and just see what they do about it because it usually is going to throw them for a loop uh at least the first time and might give you a little bit of advantage going forward because then they're also like maybe i shouldn't but duck back to one get the power crush here and again, I'm hit out of 4 forward 1 plus 2. I was trying to do down back 2 and then punish his whiff, but he didn't whiff. So my down forward 2 didn't work and we ended up trading. Round four. Fight. Forward forward 2. I'm not sure if Asuka has a good punish for 4 forward 2. Uh, but seeing that he didn't punish, I should have probably been using that more. If people aren't punishing a really strong move, like... Kuma's 442 is super strong. Like, if they're not punishing it, you should be doing it all the time. And I saw him not break a throw. I probably should have been doing way more throws. Because if you're not breaking throws, you spam throws. Like, if it's working, keep doing it. I think I was, like, really in my own head about landing Power Crush for some reason. And throws are really good against Asuka because she can't parry throws. If she tries to parry and you do a throw, it's unbreakable. Trying to do some back one into stance stuff and mix them up with that, you know, the standard stuff. I'm not breaking throws, I'm trash. Here, in this setup, even as Kuma, even though Kuma can't move, um, you can just backdash there. Uh, backdash will beat the one inch punch and the down one plus two. It'll beat the big low. Uh, there's other things she could do to hit you, like she's got longer range lows, but the two big threats, the mid launcher and the low knockdown, you can just backdash once and get out of that. I was like panicking, panicking a lot in this match, and I get hit by this mid because I'm like scared and ducking. Don't be afraid, just backdash. If you're backed up a wall, then hey, good luck, but uh, after her heat smash, you can kind of just backdash, and there's not a lot she can do. All right, and that's, this is something... That I really want to identify here. He does a really good job of like I'm doing four forward one plus two into roll, and he's seeing. He waits until he sees that I'm doing roll, and then he does dick jab. Dick jab option selects almost every option there out of roll except for roll one plus two, and I don't ever do roll one plus two. <laughs> Who fucking does that? Uh, the dick jab will always beat the roll. So if you see Kuma doing 4 forward 1 plus 2, and they're not in heat, if they're in heat, you won't really be able to do this. You can dick jab them out, and you get like a little float there if they do a move. So I was obviously doing a move. Um, so that's like something you could lap, is like getting in there and then seeing the roll and blocking it. All right, so he beat me with Power Crush there. This is game two. Um, but in that game, he did a really good job of using Power Crush to keep me out, uh, especially on my 4-4-1-2. Four, four, I was really trying to force it, and I keep trying to force it. Uh, he used Rage Art when I was in the air of 4-4-1-2, four, four, which obviously makes Rage Art, like, guaranteed. There's, like, the move is so slow, it's like seeing Snake Edge come out and hitting Rage Art. Like, uh, so if you are in Rage and Kuma's trying to kill you, that's something to keep in mind is, like, a lot of Kuma's get in attacks while running 1 plus 2 and forward forward 1 plus 2 and like back to 1 into roll transition are like really slow and you can just hit rage art it, you know a good kuma player will try to bait you to uh use your rage art and then punish you but like the moves i was doing you couldn't cancel like you know once you're in forward forward 1 plus 2 you can't just block <laughs> It's over for you. Uh, he did a really good job keeping me out of stance. I was really trying to force the roll mix-up, and he was dick-jabbing me out of the, the roll mix-up, like, every time. I really couldn't get it to work. I got it to work a couple times, and I mixed him up a little bit in the beginning to get the wall break, but um, he does a really good job minimizing how much I'm in stance. All right, so let's see here. Game two. I started the first round of game one with a hell sweep, and I think he remembered. <laughs> Alright, I get up eating the uh, unblockable. I remember that, so. Uh, you know, keep in mind. He doesn't respect my back to one transition. So I want to 
stop and talk about that. I did back to one roll transition, and he did not respect it. You do not have to respect that transition. Uh, and he killed me with uh, heat smash. Uh, I could keep in mind that he's not respecting it and try to bait something. I could do back to one, one plus two. Or I could just do back to one and block. But I know he's good enough that if I keep doing back to one, he's going to duck the second hit and I'm going to get launched. I did that back to two earlier so that I could do back to one now to make him not want to duck. But even like on hit, the second hit of back two to one isn't doesn't guarantee the third hit. So, you know, use that string sparingly back to one. Also, if you're like uh, Raijin or below back to one is probably just going to work every time. People don't know that it's mid high. But, you know, once you get to Kishin and higher, people will start to know the matchup. And you can't really rely on using back to one anymore to get into roll. So it's about game one, around one here. Now back two, probably should have been doing more of that. It was launch punishable, but be here with the Oscar setup. I'm super scared of Oscar and Heat. I, I need to lap her more. Just don't know what she can do. Stuffs my power crush. So he's being very offensive and mixing a lot of lows in with his uh, pressure. So a lot of quick pokes and strings that have lows in them. I was spamming a lot of power crush game one, and I will continue to. Uh, and he's doing a lot of stuff to keep me from doing power crush. Those intermittent lows prevent power crush. Get the counter hit on the 111 here. Get some damage. Poke him. I should have been doing a lot more of this like spacing, down back two, you know. Trying to force the back four two back one. Trying to get a lot of chip damage. Because he you know he's blocking everything. So you know I'm really trying to force the chip damage. With back four two and while running one plus two, stuff like that. Power crush to power crush. I'm not sure why he got hit there. He must have hit a button. Uh he might have hit rage art or something. But you're so plus that you can kind of do whatever there. Um so I get kind of lucky and kill him. He's doing a lot of quick pokes, not letting me get anything started. A lot of Kuma's offense is really slow. I mean, you have 1-1-1, one, 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 but it's so risky. Blocks my hell sweep. I'm heartbroken. Remember that he did that last time? Do a low get up kick and he blocks it. It's safe now. Just kind of done. Blocks my slide. Doesn't know the combo. Thank God I broke the, broke the throw. Break another throw. Trying to chip damage him down, but now that he's in heat, uh, when somebody gets down in heat, uh, when you do uh, chip damage move to him, it does way less chip damage. And we kind of exchange uh, rage arts there. So, like, he rage arted me in, after doing 4 4 1 plus 2, and then I rage arted him when he was plus. So, you know, a lot of rage art usage going on in this game. Now, 4 4, good poke. While standing four, can't believe that move high crushes. I should have launched that move. I'm bad. Heat smash, keep me out of stance. That's a really good option to keep somebody out of stance. Heat smash, especially if you're like 13, 14 frame heat smash. Trying to get him with the string. I should have probably ripped the whole thing. It's another move I could have been using more. Up one plus two. It's safe on block. Big meaty mid. Puts me with another Rage Art. <laughs> I'm in heat here. Spend it for no reason. Does a lot of chip damage, so all I gotta do is hit him one more time. I probably could've used more heat more efficiently there. Um, and done like some electrics or try to do a roll mix, but you know, all of those things are risky. Uh, electric is sidesteppable. Uh, roll mix, if, you're, if they guess right, you're dead. You're gonna get launched. <laughs> so, keep it safe. Just do the heat smash. Those are shitload of chip damage and if it hits it'll kill and you just gotta poke him one more time um yeah but you can kind of see after game two like i'm really playing a lot more reserved after the first game I've really slowed it down um he's pressuring me a lot more and i'm trying to like bait out mistakes but he's not really making any he's just letting me kill myself you know i'm doing really risky shit i'm playing kuma kuma's super risky and then he's letting me die. He's letting me kill myself by doing, uh, like, you know, uh, stupid roll moves and, like, stupid launchers. Stuff that you can see. 
He's blocked Hell Sweep a bunch of times. You know, it's right on that edge of being seeable, seeable at 21 frames. And I'm making it really obvious because I'm dashing up in his face and then doing Hell Sweep, and he just blocks and I'm dead. Uh, in game three, uh, he really... I want you to look for every time he uses Heat. Every time he uses Heat Burst is, like, really effective against me. He's really figured out that, like, I suck at, like, getting through his Heat. Uh, whether that be like how he uses heat burst defensively and then offensively uses heat smash and then I'm forced into a mix up um, and then he does a good job of identifying that I'm not adjusting quick enough uh, using the dick jabs keep me out of roll and uh, I get really desperate to hit him with a low for some reason in this game so using some charge moves doesn't let me do anything no matter what I did there he, that heat burst is going to stop me yeah, I'm out here trying to do stand shenanigans, but I just can't. His heat's too strong. Get high crushed. Eat a big low. Eat a big low. No punish. I'm bad. Get power crushed. Yeah, so it's like just overwhelmed. His heat put me in the corner with his heat mechanics, and then I just ate a bunch of big lows. <laughs> in heat again. Don't do anything. I should have ducked that. I'm bad. Heat smash. Mix. See, I backdashed and I was able to to just avoid it. And I should have just been trusted that I could punish it. I tried to block it though. You didn't you don't even need to try to block it. Hits me out of the air. Does the mid. If he ever does the low, I'm, I'm my legs are free on that. I don't ever duck there. I'm probably gonna force something stupid here, like an up back one plus two. Cause he's at the wall. No, down back three, one, two. I'm surprised he mashed into that because he knows. Like, I know he knows that that's plus one. He should have parried. <laughs> like, they're doing a really good choice. Don't ever come in. Nah, I'm just waiting out his heat. You know, I don't want to do anything too risky because he's got he's in heat. Pop his legs. There it goes, his heat. He's got that blue stuff on his hands. Sad for me there, getting launched. Bear's got no legs. That probably would have hit on any other character. That string's bugged up. <laughs> I don't know what that string is, but there's a mid and a high extension. Strings that I'm not ducking. That's seeable lows right there. So you see I didn't dick jab that time? So this time, I do 4 pulled 1 plus 2, and I go to Hunting Bear. He doesn't dick jab. He waits. All he does is back bash. So, do this. Yeah, so like he didn't really move, but then he does down forward one. When you're in bear stance like this, he does down forward one. That is like the best thing to do. You need to lab what your character can do to get Kuma out of bear stance. Because some characters like Huarang, his down forward one has a, a really high hitbox, and you can actually get crushed with HPS one plus two and get like launched over the whole screen. Um, but Asuka's down forward two, or sorry, down forward one, hits bear out of bear stance, like, no matter what. It's really good. Um, you don't want to do, like, a low, because Kuma can, after HBS down one plus two, the forward dash move, the forward dashing headbutt, you can keep holding forward and low parry a dick jab or a low, or you get to hold down back and block a low. So a lot of Asuka players like to do can-can, uh, and if you're holding forward, you get launched by the can-can. But you could hold down back and block the low can can and then duck to high. Uh, but you could also hold back and, and block mid. This down forward one will be every option Kuma has in this scenario. And it's going to get me out of stance. Like, because if you block a move in stance, it, you're out of stance. So this, this is really smart. Don't let me stay in bear stance. You need to figure out what your move is that will always get bear out of stance and is quick enough to beat like power crush and won't get crushed by HBS 1 plus 2. So if you're like a Delgin player, or like a Dragonoff player, or a Horang player, good luck, because a lot of your like key mids get crushed. Um, but Asuka's got a really good down forward one. Another one's Lee. Lee is really annoying for bears, because they just his down forward one is so hits so low. There's like nothing you can really do about it. I thought Pete here. 15 seconds left. You know, I'm panicking. Force the mix. 
That was supposed to be a down one plus two. And again, I'm you know I'm trying to oak him with this shit, but he's ready. And you just oh you want to jump in the air? Rage art. Really good choice from him there. Trying to force the roll next, just do it raw. Raw roll. Should have probably done that more. Raw roll from range two, really strong. Eating the mid, no reason for it. Could have just back dashed and blocked mid. Do the mid get up this time? It's not as strong as it used to be. But that was like remembering he likes to do the charge up move and then remembering he blocked the low last time. So this time I'm gonna do the mid. I wasn't in position to do a spring kick. Look how much chip damage I'm doing. A lot of back four twos. Like, hey, you wanna block? Back four two. Can't believe you didn't get the punish. Didn't launch the other launch punishable one. I don't know why. Right now I'm like really desperate to hit him with a low. I'm not sure why I was like in this mindset of like, I got to hit him with a low. I need to hit him with a low. Uh, that was kind of like the mindset I was in. Uh, just like felt like my mids weren't working very well, but I didn't need to be in that kind of mindset. I could have just kept playing the game how I was. I was like really trying to get a low to work. I don't know how to punish that. <laughs> Probably 4 2 one one plus 2 Get hit with that. I didn't back dash. Block mid. Should have back dashed. Trying to force something here. Good chip damage. I mean, back one plus two is just a good move. All these moves I'm doing, chip damage. Good to use. Break some throws. Power crush. That's like a, you know, Oscar day one. Do a throw. When it gets broken, do a power crush. <laughs> and then I get counter hit and I die here. So, good set from him. He really uh, pressured me out at the end. There was, I don't know why I was like really forcing the uh, hell sweep. Uh, I should have really been looking for like down back two, uh, you know, spacing. Do a down back two, back dash. Do a full crouch down one, back dash. You know, he knows the matchup. I got to play it safe. I don't know why I'm running into a launch punish below. I mean, down back two is a launch punish below, but it's so fast that uh, it's unlikely that he's going to be like, you know, making a read and blocking it when kuma has such big mids uh i really needed to stop doing four four one plus two he fucked me up so hard for doing that every time and i really needed to stop doing it uh and i needed to identify like if i'm gonna do four four one plus two what is he doing he was doing a lot of like uh if i went into roll he was doing dick jab i could have done roll one plus two and that would have at least traded with him and launched him and then you know i don't really I never do roll one plus two, but it's like, you know, this guy knows what to do. Let me adapt. Um, I could also do like an empty roll and then like try to like low parry or hop kick or something like that. Um, so like I said, for him, you know, at the beginning, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And the opposite of that for me, if it isn't working, stop doing it, you know, do something else. And I just really wasn't adapting very well. Uh, and then, you know, for defense, I could have done better dealing with strings. <laughs> I, uh, you know, I need to learn to match up. I'm a scrub. Uh, I didn't block, like, any of the seeable lows. Uh, I didn't duck, like, a lot of the highs, like, down forward one, two. Um, and then for uh, Black Snacks here, uh, you know, he's a Kuma main, but, you know, he's got a pretty good Asuka here. Uh, he, did, he used Heat really well. He kept me out of stance really well. He used Rage really well. Uh, he used Power Crush really well. Um, if I was ever going to give him some feedback, I mean, he beat me. <laughs> but, you know, get better at the punishes, nerd. And uh, using Parry. So I was super scared of Parry. Um, and he didn't do it once. Uh, there was a lot of opportunities for him to do Parry, especially when I was doing, like, back forward two spam. Um, could use Parry. You can punch Parry back one plus two. Um from Kuma, so you know that always feels bad. <laughs> you know, if I'm trying to run into back one plus two and get punch parried, it's demoralizing getting parried. So if I was playing Oscar, I would use parries more, uh, as well as can can. Can can is super strong in this game since you can't low parry it. If I was playing Oscar, I would be doing can can all the time. Um, but you know, who am I to talk? He won. You know, so why listen to my <laughs> my advice here? But uh. Yeah, really good games to uh, Black Snacks. Uh, I'll link his Twitch down in the description. He has never streamed before, but he might someday. He also doesn't have a YouTube. He's in the Bear Discord, so if you go in there, you say what's up to him. Uh, GG's, dude, and uh, I'll get you next time. Peace.